Umaroy made some claims about the will to win in his first Grammy and Nigerians are not having it. So, Umaroy won twice as tall best global album, the celebration, the positive vibe, his win was motivating and Africans turned up for this. We had musicians from across the African continent saying congrats to the African giant. So the soul who featured on the album said this, Abuna Boy Graham, happy to be a part of the dream. Thank you for showing us it can be done. African boys on a mission. Then yesterday, Abuna Boy made this tweet which read, my kids will definitely beat their chest and say daddy did it on his own. We can do it on our own. And he goes on to say, when you know yourself, nobody can tell you about yourself. Know yourself and never go against yourself. He then adds, God is most definitely not a man. I will never forget how so many of you pray that I don't win. Too dumb to understand that you also win if I win. No worry, this is just the beginning. God is great. We have reactions to these tweets like, um, saying no one does it on their own. We have someone saying, basically, Didi bought the award for Bona Boy, so he shouldn't be so hyped about it. Then we have Ogares, your mates get bikini, you they the joints. Then so we keep being the first Afrobeat artist to win a grand me paying you also help us tell your kids say this kid was the first as well beats artist to win and pave the way for you then we have this other person saying so he's shaving the same fc that has been rooting for him then we also have been saying only in niger that you will see people discrediting achievements of collaborations i am shocked that as big as bona boy he will come so low to say this sort of thing i thought he was supposed to be an international artist sad then we have this other person saying very insensitive statement acknowledge your team be it fellow artists friends family etc where you come even put god self then we have another saying the whiskey bona boy friendship era about to end because of a western award called the grammys white men always win somehow monsters they made that bona boy also made the sweets god bless everyone slash anyone who has stood with me let's keep making history he also went on to say every single person that worked on the project my incredible team that works 24 7 and my outsiders big love always well i think bonaboy did a good job thanking his team he thanked god he thanked his outsiders his fans he thanked everybody who collaborated with him on this album so i think he did a good job thanking all the parties involved on the 19th of march the long-awaited collaboration between stanley eno and pretty p dropped a collaboration which led to the oer challenge launched by the motherland empire musician a track getting mixed reviews some loving is like those taking part in the challenge and this lady who had this to say she said oh yeah one of my favorite tracks on stanley eno's the album by at stanley eno baba rabi came with that fire and some hating it we have mr joe said bro what in the copy work of master kg jerusalem is this so you ask djs to stop playing niger music to do copy work where poor rabbi anyways you sang your normal vibe then the end of to that saying you shut the f up song came out before that song say i'm a visionary oh yeah it's mad by fire then mr joe responded to that by saying but of course with a confused career like yours you have no clue about publishing the music big glad kg with the global success of jerusalem doesn't have youtube scrap this you mumble no words lyrics mess but yeah keep doing you perica good luck you need all the luck you can get and stanley and response to that by saying big fool keep existing vrs we have another person um reacting to stanley and saying very freaking necessary stream and share big chum um this guy says it's not a big chum stanley it wasn't necessary bro you flop big time on that song and drag a legend in the mod with you and some in a response to that by saying let's rock hashtag oh yeah then we have this other person saying make stanley try reggae now make we see something and stanley says come in hashtag oh yeah um when stanley tweeted particularly cousin motor jazz anybody knows what that means bonjour and this lady responds to that by saying person of jazz man of music in essence one who is good at music but the issue is i don't know why he is lying to you and stanley responds to that by saying did you just call Petty pay liar, you better repent. Hashtag Muta Jazz. We have the tweet where this person says at Derek Desi, the tweet you deleted about Stanley. Here is my comment. I think he humiliated the legend, like he dragged him into the mud. And Stanley says, Your humble thought. 
who cares vibe y'all and then finally we have this person who says please can someone tell Sandy Ella to stop music or take a pause travel or smoke weed for inspiration this music is horrendous and Stanley responds, he says, and no stopping, your ears will suffer. And then we have a tweet from one of Stanley Eno Stan's account where um, the person says, people hating Stanley sound stupid AF. And Stanley reacted to that. He said, I love it. I love them. Fire, fire. On the 16th of March, we got the news. Carl Danilo is the new Sierra Leonean ambassador of entertainment. The rapper had this reaction to his appointment. More grief to the elbow, Mr. Entertainment Ambassador. I wish you rapping was not the beat all for me. Say hi hi to the new diplomat thanks to his excellency president madu bao for believing in me and entrusting me with such responsibility more updates on the agenda moving forward as we set the pace to rejuvenate the entertainment industry great news for the Sierra Leone entertainment scene having one of their own in a position to make laws which could lead to some major changes in the industry since his appointment Carlton Hill has gotten to work having meetings and working towards putting in place change making laws here are some of the things he has been doing so far the ambassador has been keeping us updated so he said a national surreal entertainment website has been long overdue a place where you can browse and check out all the latest updates on various arts producers um actors directors comedians djs and bloggers page dedicated to the veterans from calendar to dr o surreal entertainment Come. will soon be a reality looking forward to my first press conference awesome he also lets us know 80 percent Australian content on all our radio stations hotels bars clubs with monitoring teams working with our djs nationwide to make sure this is established imagine top quality Sierra Leone music on all international flights arriving along with our entertainment magazine we're looking forward to working with our partners he also makes this positive statement he says unity and one message is a key to us achieving our goals my office door will be widely open to even those who thought we never see eye to eye let's make history so basically he's going to work with even people he has had beef with in the past so he also lets us know just conclude a very important meeting with one of africa's top tv brands to a little let the cat out of the bag if this goes down so Ellen entertainment will rise finally awesome news he also says one bad song or whack movie destroys the good reputation of all other hardworking arts creators to put a stop to that i believe we must set a screening team comprising of engineers producers and djs that approves what plays on radio programs by merit not by sentiment also to avoid the usual fights with regards to event dates and tv shows colliding all entertainment related event dates will be approved by the entertainment secretariat one big show at a time people then we have cardinal also saying in my tenor as an entertainment ambassador i will embark on various workshops artist development studio engineering event management video production script writing directing professional blogging and streaming techniques graphic design classes photography plus more i'm graceful to say i have some good contacts who are more than willing to fly in and help train our aspiring industry people on how it should be done from the u.s jamaica and nigeria following the footsteps of the great president bao on the developing our human capital breaks up love it then finally he says i had a consultative meeting with the deputy ministry of foreign affairs mr solomon jamiru who is also the spokesperson of nakovec area today we discussed the possibility of lifting the entertainment performance ban which is very heavy on all performers since the curfew and state of emergency has been lifted today i expressed how grateful my colleagues will be if they consider allowing all acts to start doing their regular show activity i sense bright light at the end of the the tunnel it's definitely a bright light at the end of the tunnel for the Sierra Leone entertainment scene like i said one of their own somebody who knows what it takes to succeed as an artist in Sierra Leone being there and somebody who has probably gone through a lot of challenges making it to the top um being in charge of making laws which can make it easier for people who come after him i think it's really incredible i want organizer brian guess is making some statements in relation to the 8020 laws some camera entertainers are trying to push for and like many 
have done, he is also pointing out some of the flaws in the Cameroon Entertainment scene. He starts off by saying in all caps, it is not about Nigeria music, but Cameroon music culture. A big shout out to Siwa International, Desmond DJ, and everyone who has been fighting this battle of making Cameroon music first. Yes, I agree that we need to reduce foreign music influence in our country to give spotlight to our home industry. To me, fighting Nigeria is fighting a long battle because Congolese, Avarians, Ghanians, Gabon, and French artists all make huge sums of money from Cameroon as well. Even if we ban Nigeria music here, in worst case, um, that won't guarantee the increase in the consumption of Cameroon music as we have other some strong foreign musicians making it here. Fali, for example, has more fans in Cameroon than 98% of Nigerian artists. In 2020, no Nigerian song was played in Cameroon more than Yopé, which is from Congo. It might be a perfect strategy to create awareness about our issues by chasing our foreign music industry. But let's not make it a personal problem because we will have a long way to go as an industry and have plans to go international as well. We need to know that Cameroon doesn't make up to 0.5% of the market for Nigerian music. And even if we ban Nigerian artists and music here, yeah, it won't affect them in any major way. Nowadays, music is digital and at the same time, a business. The Cameroonian music industry do not have stable music distributions or discovery platforms. If our artists need to be heard in other places, we need to make use of the available music distribution channels in our country and other countries. We still also lack investment and professionals in our industry. Cameroonian music industry cannot boast of five artists with 50 million investment on them. I do not know any. Music is a business and people invest hundreds of millions on promotion to break the barriers. We need to first of all invest heavily in our music industry at all levels from production, promotion, diffusion, branding, etc. We have very few music business experts and fewer artists who will really appreciate the services of these people. Believe me, if we don't take the music as a business and study professionally, we will keep turning around and think support your own is the way out. The music industry is a very competitive industry, both locally and internationally. Every single market has a specific need and ways. The entire music business in Cameroon needs to be developed from DJs, event organizers, artists, promoters, bloggers, etc. So we can't put the blame on a single individual, keeping in mind that above mentioned, if we need to fight this war and win, we need to focus on three major areas. One, government intervention. Two, music discovery platforms. Three, our artist branding. Four, associations. Five, music business education. And he goes on to detailly talk about each of the um, areas which he pointed out above. He says, one, only the government can restrict how much foreign music should be played in our country and for them to do this we need to give them enough reason and prove that we can do it on our own and we are ready it has to be a fighting process involving people risking their careers losing money as a truck if a legislature is passed people will play cover music by force and we will learn to appreciate it too we need to support and grow music discovery and distribution channels if we depend on foreign platforms like youtube spotify and audio mac for our content we will end up with more foreign content because these platforms are designed that way. Our artists need to get on platforms like Musical, put up their music, share this music, build local audiences on these platforms and grow an ecosystem where Cameroon music is kept first. We need to invest on TVs that play Cameroon content by watching them, paying adverts, paying promo and if we really need to get international, we need to build these platforms to meet international standards and compete. There's no Cameroon TV channel on DSTV as of now. So how do we want these people to discover us internationally? When we have our own stable music discovery platform, we then can do go into distribution to all our major countries. I just want to state too, we have Echo.Online. Check out Echo.Online. That is a music platform designed for African realities created by Africans. We know the challenges we do face in Africa to get music which we love. So get on Echo.Online. Sign up. Links will be in the description below. Thirdly, he goes on to say our artists branding honestly guys this is one of the major issues with cameroon music industry today social media has a lot of power and has made it easy for artists to grow beyond borders 98 percent of our artists are so poorly branded both online and offline that it is a major product problem branding starts from where you position yourself who you associate with how you present yourself your image your quality as well our branding is so poor compared to the standards in the market i cannot list 10 properly branded cameroon artists i can expand 
create or more issues of the industry but i think it's important we focus on the solution instead then he goes on to say music who will be doing seminars this year so that we can share knowledge around music business the fun part is that those who can really make use of this knowledge won't attend for reasons known to them and that's just one of the reasons we are in progressing we all want instant glorification but we need to work okay let me just add my two cents here especially about this last point which he mentioned i remember i attended this seminar where um some people some people in the acting sector of cameroon the movie sector decided to have a seminar where they also invited business minds to come and talk to people in the acting sector to see how they can integrate both but most of the key players in the acting scene did not attend they did not attend because they felt like oh, we're too big and we're past this level you cannot tell us to do we already know what we need to be doing i don't need to my city and listen to anything that this banker has to say or this man who can give me loans has to say or whatever so I, yeah i just want to agree with him on this especially this last point like i agree with him on most of the things that you said but especially this last point because i have been there and i have seen it myself you go to this co conference or this seminar it's kind of just going in circles we complain but we don't work towards really finding the solution or implementing any real solution calvin was involved in a fatal motor accident he let his fans know about this incident with this post he said miraculously we are safe i was told nobody survived such a gruesome car accident like the one we just encountered thanks to all those who express positive interest and concern the god of abraham is greater than all he is my defender and protector always thank you so fans are responding with heartfelt messages of their own messages like um god is with you bro cal de Nero. thank god for his grace upon your life let's keep grinding though you shall live long through the his comment section thanks for watching that video hope it inspired you to want to commit to check out if you want more content from us no worries we got you covered all you need to do is hit the subscribe button hit the notification button then sit back relax and enjoy daily content from us it's been eight on chakara tv we are craziness with the strategy